guys it's Megan and it is Wednesday and I am just about to leave work I worked an hour and a half overtime got in early worked late and my brain is melting <laughs> literally it's so dreary today that it's just like how did I even function and I tried and I don't know why I keep trying this I keep trying to get Starbucks iced coffee with like flavor syrups in it to make it taste good it tastes like shit you guys like I do not like their plain coffee I literally only like their lattes and I just need to like get over it and stop wasting my money on their iced coffee because I hate the way it tastes and I don't like the way it makes me feel like I don't I don't know what it is about it but it just makes me feel like off so I am going back to my white chocolate mocha with toffee nut syrup latte because it's the only thing that really really tastes good to me and that works for deliciousness and for like actually giving me energy because I feel like when I drink their iced coffee I just feel jittery and like bad like it's like a downer and like a jittery so I do not like it and so I'm gonna stop with trying out all the different combinations because I don't like it no matter what um but it's so weird like when I work late I just feel like why even bother rushing home because I'm just gonna get home late anyway so I'm sitting in our parking lot and there's like no one here like it is crazy it's only 5 30 and like no one's here like I just saw okay there's two people but usually like I leave around between 4 15 and 4 45 depending on how long my break is and there's like tons of people leaving like before five o'clock but after five it's like a ghost town here so yeah I am just like tired Mo emotionally mentally like physically I don't know why I said emotionally I don't have like any bad emotions but my hair is still going strong I still really like it it's doing that flip out thing again today which you guys know I hate but it is what it is and I'm filming on my iPhone because I just wanted to talk to you and I really want to go to Bath and Body Works today but I want to go home and see if we have any coupons actually let me check in my little coupon pouch which is from hrh collection she sends these little um these little holographic not holographic um iridescent pouches with any order over 35 dollars i got a victoria's secret birthday coupon but i don't think i have any bath and body works no they're like harder um uh paper like this so i would be able to feel it in here but I don't have any um but I want to see if they sent me anything because my birthday is one week from today I cannot believe that next week is the 4th of July and today was my friend at work Caitlin's birthday and we are just two peas in a pod and it's no wonder that our birthdays are one week apart because we're so similar and it's so much fun to work with her so hey Caitlin and um yeah I don't I don't know you guys I just am feeling like whack and my foundation is way too late for my body because I've been self tanning and I just need to get a slightly darker foundation I'm thinking about getting L'Oreal Pro Glow because I love that foundation and I haven't had it in probably a year at this point I used it up um quite a while ago so I think I'm gonna get that in a slightly darker shade just so I don't have to be like self-conscious of my face being so much paler than my neck and I know I'm gonna get sun at the beach and I'm gonna be self tanning and stuff so yeah I have to figure out my shade and yeah I have this cookie half of a cookie that I'm gonna eat I've just been like on a cookie kick because they're so good here but I think I'm gonna drive home I was gonna stop at Bath and Body Works on the way home but now that I got out so late I don't really want to because I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner I think it's just me and my mom and I don't know when she'll get home oh the struggle you guys but usually whenever I pack a lunch now I've been packing like a snack to eat on the drive home so I have carrots and 
ranch dressing in here so I can eat this if I get hungry while I'm driving, which usually I do. And I put an extra bottle of water so it's nice and cold. Um, those are my little like tips that I've discovered because I like I can feel it right now. I am so hangry. Like if someone tried to talk to me, I'd be like, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> like It is so weird how I get sometimes and very annoying to everyone around me. So sorry for what I said when I'm hangry because I literally am a stone cold bitch when I'm hungry. So yeah, I have my carrots and stuff. Usually I put a string cheese in there, but I didn't this morning for some reason. I remember like literally saying to myself, put a string cheese in your lunchbox and I was like no like to myself I was being sassy like are you serious but <laughs> that is just who I am sometimes so yeah and I've been wearing my glasses like probably once or twice a week because my allergies I'm not really stuffed up like I am slightly but I've been more so like bloodshot eyes. Like I look like I've been doing drugs but I don't do drugs. So if you notice that my eyes are red it's because of my stupid allergies and I don't know like what to do about it. So yeah, but I'm gonna get going so I don't get stuck in hella traffic. I wanted to share this with you guys because I just like practiced this. So lately I've been trying to resist when it comes to like spending and shopping and stuff like that and telling myself no more in terms of that kind of thing. But I've been telling myself yes more in terms of like little things like if I feel inspired to like listen to a certain song, instead of just keep on listening to what I'm listening to already, I'll switch it to what I want, which I didn't used to do. I didn't used to go with exactly what music I wanted to listen to or whatever. Like I'd be like, I need to listen to this, like to prepare for a concert or whatever. Even if I was inspired to listen to something else, like I've been listening to Taylor Swift's Re Reputation album just constantly because her, the concert I'm seeing is coming up very soon, only a few more weeks. Um, so I was listening to Dress and it reminded me of Bruno Mars's Versace on the Floor. And I was like, damn, I haven't listened to Bruno in months upon months. Like I saw him in October at Madison Square Garden and it was one of the best concerts ever and just like remembering the set for Versace on the floor and it was just like mind-blowing so I was inspired to listen to that as I was listening to Taylor Swift so I just switched it to it immediately and it just makes you feel like so fulfilled and so happy with doing barely anything like you're not spending money, you're not wasting time. Like it's just literally going with your gut, listening to that voice in your head and your intuition basically is so valuable. And it's something that I am trying to practice more and more. So little things like that, it just makes me feel so much better. And it can't always be done because logistics or whatever. But if I feel like, okay, this is something I want to do, it's not like harmful to do in any way and I can do it, like just do it. But I find it to be really, really a positive change that I've been making for myself and it's literally like hardly any effort. It's just like going with how you feel in the moment and trying not to like resist what you really want to make you happy. Again, as long as it's not harmful or whatever to you or anyone else, you can't just do whatever the hell you want all the time. But little things, it just makes my day that much better. Oh my god. I didn't know I've been recording this whole time while I was trying to set that up. I, <laughs> I am going to do an unboxing with you guys because I got three packages in the mail. And the first one was literally like opened when I got it out of my mailbox. It was really weird. But I got this from Skin Store. And this is the purple conditioner that... I purchased after getting my highlights done. It's the Christophe Robin, which I always want to say Christopher Robin, um, Shade Variation Care Baby Blonde. And it's a purple conditioner. Oh my God. It is like gorgeous and terrifying at the same time. Ooh, a nice light scent. But I heard about this on TT Sandra. She said that this was 
her favorite um, like color, like toning conditioner. So I picked this up because it was like a special coupon code or something that it was part of and no samples that's kind of lame and it took forever for it to ship to me so hopefully this product is good but i'm not like a huge fan of shopping at the skin store then the other two things are shoes which i am obsessed with i definitely have a thing for shoes earrings and coats or like jackets any outerwear and I got both of these pairs on sale at Bloomingdale's. And I, from time to time, just search for Sam Edelman shoes because his are my favorite. And these Lorraine loafers are my favorite shoes ever. So I have them in two colors now, and this will be my third color. So I will open them with you guys because obviously I haven't seen them in person yet. Oh my god, they look fabulous. This is called the Neon Pink Loafer, and they're a velvet with gold hardware. Oh my god, they're stunning. And they're a seven, which is my size in this particular shoe. In most shoes, I am a seven and a half, but in this loafer, I am definitely a seven. So I would recommend a size, a half a size down. But they are so comfortable. Like the back is super flexible and they are just gorgeous. I love them so much. So these were like half off of the original price, which... I know I will get so much wear out of these and they're they're called neon pink but they're more muted than you would think with that name it's more um hot pink in the direct light but a lot of the time it'll be more shaded so it'll look just like a dark magenta oh my god I love those then I got a pair of shoes that I'm really hoping will fit they didn't have a seven so i got the seven and a half and they're a style i've never tried from sam edelman and they were a bloomingdale's exclusive these are the lucienne in black suede and they look magical oh my god they better freaking fit look at this heel oh my god that is amazing. It even has like SE for Sam Edelman here. And it's like a constellation pattern with pearls and stitching and gold grommets. And then it has a double um, ankle strap here, but it is a zipper um, open on the back. These are freaking magic. <gasps> I love them. And I've been looking for like really nice shoes that I can wear out or with dresses or whatever and that don't have too high of a heel and these are perfect and even the inside is gorgeous. These shoes are amazing. So both of these pairs were I think around $70 each and oh my god I cannot wait to try these on and pray to god that they fit but I will link these below for you guys because there were multiple sizes in these I believe the pink ones there was only the seven left and I don't know if I bought the last pair but I'll link this style below either way Hallelujah. they fit so perfectly I love them they are pure pure magic oh my god I love them. I just finished up doing chores. I had so much garbage. I don't know why. It was like overflowing. So tonight's garbage night. So I took all that out and then I cleaned our bathroom, which always makes me feel a lot better. And now I'm just editing the video that you're watching right now. It's like inception. And my mom is on her way home and it's just us for dinner. So I'm not sure what we'll do but I still possibly want to go to Target to look for the foundation that's my correct shade now and possibly Bath and Body Works because oh man that is something. I saw that they have new summer scents that just released and they have buy three get three and I really want some body lotions. I don't have any lotions 
right now that I really, really enjoy for this time of year. Like all of them seem really heavy and stuff. And I feel like even the Bath and Body Works Ultra Shea body butters aren't that heavy. And if they're lighter scents, I know that I'll use them for this time of year. So maybe I'll get to go there. Maybe not. Who knows where the wind will take us. But hopefully we will get something to eat soon because I'm crashing. No Bath and Body Works coupons, but I found this in our pile that 20% off a qualifying purchase at Ulta. Like that never happens. And it's on Prestige, Fragrance, and Benefit Brow Bar, the last thing I don't care about. But on Fragrance and Prestige brands, yes! And it doesn't expire until the 30th, which is this Saturday. But this is an amazing, amazing coupon. So I'm so glad I looked through our pile of coupons. You can see the other pair in the light. They look so cool. They are so cool. Oh, I love them. We're at Chick-fil-A, our fave place. When I don't get the salads, I get the strips with honey mustard sauce and ranch for the fries. So I dip the chicken in the honey mustard, fries in the ranch, and mom lets us get cookies, which are the best, and Coke. Here we go, looking for the summer scents. Oh my God, I love Target. Celebrating my birthday in style, trying to find foundation of my shade going straight to L'Oreal if I can find it. I need the s'mores carrying case you guys. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. And what do the marshmallows go under that? That is legit. We want this melting tray. I got my foundation. Never thought I would get something called natural beige ever. I'm home now. Gonna do a speed Bath and Body Works haul, like I showed you guys, I got the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in number 205 Natural Beige, which I was okay if it's like a little too dark because then I can mix in with my normal foundation, but I wanted it to be like a warm tone like this is because then it'll make sure that the like foundation just looks the right tone because I feel like I've just been looking so ashy and stuff that it's just like not right like obviously this is way too tan but mixed in with my foundation I think it's going to be really really nice let me just wipe it off before I get it every wear um then at Bath and Body Works I did the buy three get three plus I got this fresh coconut colada lotion oh my god it smells amazing this was 50% off in their Sammy annual sale I also got two other um coconut scented things this is one of their new scents the beach water coconut shea butter this one's like different it's not as coconutty my mom said it has like a like a yeah, it's a saltwater musk, like a, some sort of spiciness to it. So that's a cool new one. And I also got the Waikiki Beach Coconut Shower Gel. I just love this packaging so much. And I always use coconut shower gels. And this also has like a floral note to it. It's very pretty. This is another new scent. And I'm just counting how many I have because I want to make sure I did the formula right. But this is the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I love this packaging. Oh my God. And this one's like a really pretty vanilla-y scent. It says whipped vanilla, marshmallow meringue, white magnolia, fluffy sandalwood. Mostly I just really liked it for the name, the packaging, and that it smelled sweet. So now I'll use that. Another new scent is Happy Vibes, and I ended up getting this in a shower gel because I like floral scents more as shower gels. It's gorgeous. It is beautifully floral and very like crisp and fresh. I almost just ate it, but not like headache floral. Like some florals give me a headache. I love this bottle. I think that it is so cute. My mom and I both got the Pretty as a peach uh, lotion, as you would expect. It smells like peach, but it also kind of has a, like a creaminess. I don't know, it's just lovely. And finally, I got one of my favorites from last year, the At The Beach um, lotion. 
and I'm gonna put this on because this is like a coconut and floral. It's really pretty. And oh my God, it's so nice. It literally transports you to a tropical vacation. So I'm going to smell delicious this summer. This is my last Bath and Body Works haul because I got my hand soaps, I got my shower gels, and now I got a few more shower gels and lotions, so I am all set. But I am going to get ready for bed. It is already almost 10 o'clock, I can't believe it. And then uh, it's time for work again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon, bye.